righty, so I'm gonna make a very quick video today summing up a couple of things that I have realized and that have come to my attention. And you guys aren't gonna really like it, but oh well, it's reality and uh, we're gonna discuss it. So comment down below what you guys think throughout the video and about the topics presented. But it does look like um, large events and group gatherings are in danger. It looks like the U.S. government is being pressured um, to close down large group gatherings and events to prevent the spread of coronavirus. And uh, that could mean theme parks may not be able to open up or they may have to shut down. Now, when we say shut down or when we start talking about closing their gates, it's going to be probably like what happened in China. You know, they have a lot of cases over there. And uh, Disneyland ended up closing for two weeks and then it reopened. It'll be probably very similar to that. It'll probably if something were to happen, you know, a theme park would shut down for maybe two weeks to prevent the spread. And uh, hopefully that helps. And I mean, it's probably going to be earlier in the season. So any park that's opening up anytime soon might be impacted by this. It looks like the CDC is moving forward with. Um, more regulations on preventing the spread and there are people um, pressuring the government to just completely uh, it looks like ban or stop large group gatherings like a theme park casino and other things like that or festivals and uh, it depends what the government is going to do to react I know here in Canada that they are refusing to do that right now so good news there they are telling people literally just wash your hands so everyone literally just go out and wash your hands um, they said if you're walking by the average person and you're bumping into them here and there, you're not at risk as long as you wash your hands. So it comes down to literally just cleanliness at the end of the day. Wash your clothes, take a shower, wash your hands. Um, but that's not all of it. So obviously um, the stock markets for theme parks, airlines, casinos and that are crashing today because it does look like it's going to impact the economy. It's going to impact business. There's nothing you can do about that now. And I know roller coaster enthusiasts are really upset. They don't want to even discuss the idea of a theme park closing. And I'm not here to purposely discuss that. I'm not here going a theme park is going to close because trust me, my opinion on this matter is not educated whatsoever. I cannot sit here and begin to predict um, with a sense of understanding and thorough like thought that the theme parks are going to close. Like, no, trust me, I don't know. I'm just some random um, coaster GP enthusiast, and I'm just entertaining the idea of what if. Now, this is something that we talked about in our Discord server um, this morning a lot about. And if you really put your mind to it and you really put aside that I don't want the theme parks to close, I really want to go to a theme park this summer. We know deep down that something's going to happen. We know that the theme parks were going to experience something in the early spring. Someone was going to or is going to get coronavirus while at a theme park. OK, it's going to happen. It's going to happen everywhere. When someone's grocery shopping, they're going to get it. And unfortunately, because if it does happen at a theme park, it's going to cause panic and it's going to cause the theme parks to have to shut down. No business is going to want under their name or brand um, that dangerous image of you could get coronavirus here. It is smarter for a business to shut their gates down for two weeks to prevent the spread of coronavirus than it is for them to have one person get sick while at their park. It's much smarter business wise and it will protect them much longer to close their gates than it will to have that one person get sick with the current anxiety over the uh, the virus around the world right now. That's just fact. That's literally fact. There is no argument about that. It is smarter for the businesses for a theme park to close their gates for two weeks, even if it doesn't help in the end, even if one person wasn't going to get sick. It just helps them. The sad thing is the truth of the matter is three in one million people in the States right now is the average I don't even know how to word it is the, is the average um, amount of people that have uh, COVID. So that's extremely low. So if you do the math, the average theme park is going to only possibly infect up to 12 people in a year using that math and logic. Now, yes, it's early on and those numbers will grow or could decrease. It could go either way. Who knows? But currently, based off that 12 people, that's not that bad. 
there are a lot worse things out there that do a lot more damage. Anyways, I'm not going to go into that. I just wanted to do a really quick video on my thoughts and kind of like discussing this. It looks like there's a really big chance that, you know, the theme parks could close their gates for a day, two days, a week, two weeks. I wanted to entertain the idea. I wanted to go over the latest update on what the CDC is saying and the, the groups that are pressuring the government to take action on this and how it's impacting stocks. Again, the airlines, casinos and theme parks are taking a really big hit um, in the stock market right now. And this is all going to balance out. No, nothing's going to happen. It's all going to balance out in the end. Everything's fine. Um, again, just wash your hands, take a shower and wash your clothes. OK, if, if you're going to do something, do that. You'll be fine. Hopefully this anxiety over it goes away and hopefully everything goes back to normal in the next six months. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to make a quick video on it. I'm sorry if I pissed anyone off. I know a lot of people don't like when people talk on this subject that much. But again, this is a this is a concept that you have to grasp. Something's going to happen at a theme park. Someone's going to get sick, just like when you go to a movie theater or a theme park or something and you get the cold or flu, it happens. Someone's going to get COVID while at a theme park. If they stay open, it's going to happen. And that's when they're going to be forced to close and the government's going to take action because of this whole fear and anxiety. Um, and uh, yeah, that's the idea I just wanted to entertain. Comment down below what you think. Feel free to drag me. I'm used to it at this point uh, <laughs> with this type of video. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't and uh, comment down below. Have a good one, guys. Bye.